Hello there, everyone. Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another Ash and Cast. And as always, I'm joined by Just Too Good here. Yeah, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> We're Just back for here. the 12th episode of the Ash and Cast, the wow, weekly 12. series that's not weekly. Yeah, well, we skipped a whole bunch of weeks, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, 12 doesn't even feel like it. 12, I know. How many Just Two podcasts do you have? I think about 12, so we're probably on 12. Okay, we're going to pass it. 12. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a short one. There's not too much to talk about, I don't think. Um, but uh, I guess we'll start things off with the Avengers Endgame trailer. Um, what were your general thoughts on it? Or did you watch it? Because you said you weren't. Did I say I wasn't going to watch it? Did I really say that? Yeah, I sent it to you, and you're like, nah, I'm not going to watch it anymore. <laughs> no, it could have. I, I've said that to something else. I don't think it was that. Because it's like. I think you said it was too close. Uh, I swear there was something you sent that was like, okay. Maybe it was something else. Maybe I'm Yeah, mistaken. but not the trailer. No, the trailer, Um, I thought it was uh, a very good trailer. They didn't show anything. And mm-hmm. I. They don't have to show anything. We're already sold. But for a trailer, okay. they showed little be- bits and pieces. People are mad about certain things they've showed. Um, I don't know if, I guess, spoilers for the trailer. Because I know there are people avoiding the trailer. But mm-hmm. uh, click away if you're avoiding the trailer. But <laughs> three, two, one. Well, people are mad that they showed, like, uh, Tony Stark back on Earth. And I'm like, oh. really? Like, really? That's yeah, what you're mad at? Because we had no idea he was going to make it back. And that he right? was going to meet up with the rest of the team. Yeah, like, I mean, they, they said, they presented the case that, oh, in the first trailer, they kind of made it a peril that he might not. And I'm like, no, that was just for dramatic effect, really, like. Yeah. I they still think... set that up here, I'd say. Like, there was still him talking mm-hmm. about the cave and all that. And you know, it's funny, they didn't even have to show that in the trailer. I don't know why they showed him with the other Avengers, but, like, no. it's not a big deal yeah. that they did. I don't really care. But it was, like, for a split second, that's why I'm saying that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I don't have any complaints i like that they're not showing anything it concerns me that they're not showing much thanos i don't think thanos is a big presence in this movie Mm -hmm. and he was my favorite part of the first movie so yeah i don't know uh but yeah thanos Um, is just such a cool villain yeah i agree um i i i think he's probably my favorite mcu villain really no way i thought there was other great villains in the mcu well i i'm trying to who was i'm I'm blanking. Oh, Vulture, I think, took the spot oh, okay. from Loki. Yeah, but yeah, no, Vulture I was... Thanos, I don't know, man. I forgot. Vulture's I love, really great, too. I love Vulture. I, for, I actually forgot. I was, I was being sarcastic. I actually <laughs> really don't like the villains of the MCU, but people, I did forget about Vulture. Speaking of which, people love Baron Zemo for some reason. Why? I mean, he was cool. It was creepy when he was on the computer, but, like, that was the only time he stood out to me. I like, just think... Not no, not him. Not oh, uh, Strucker. That's Strucker, right? That's uh, uh, Zemo from the guy from uh, Civil War. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, who are you thinking of? Shoot, I thought that was Strucker. Arnim Zola. Arnim Zola. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Zemo from Civil War. I do like him a lot, actually. I do. Um, and a lot of people didn't like him. I thought. I thought I was alone on that one. But I, my favorite villains from the MCU are him, Vulture, Killmonger. And Thanos. <laughs> yeah, I know you love Black Panther. I actually, we, that should just be a topic. You don't like Black Panther that much. I, I, I thought you thought it was okay, but I, I think according let, to your thing, I mean, let's let's save it for like the week before Endgame. We'll do like, we'll just talk like briefly about like, right. or maybe leading up, we'll go different phases. Okay, you guys in the comments have to re- have to remind <laughs> us because we got to do that. We also got to go over the Toy Story movies again. But that's that's June. We've got we've yeah got some time for that. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I remembered something that we have to talk about. Um, but, um, yeah, I really like this trailer. I'm trying to think of some things that people were pointing out. Uh, Hawkeye was wearing the, uh, ankle bracelet that, uh, uh, Ant-Man was wearing. The same sort of one. Mm-hmm. Um, See, which I don't notice this stuff. <laughs> is interesting to me because the farm was off the books, but I guess he's allowed to to live there now or i guess everyone knows where it is but mm-hmm. um wait why would he be wearing the ink oh because of the i see civil war civil thing. war yeah um what was the other thing uh who else was there in civil war was falcon captured falcon hmm well i think no he's on the he's on the lamb with cap isn't he i think the reason that hawkeye okay. and ant-man 
because they busted everyone out. Either they decided to stay or like, um, I don't know. I guess maybe they decided to stay because they didn't want to be on the run. But mm-hmm. I mean, you could have hid on your secret farm. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, people were complaining about his haircut. It's being deemed the uh, mo uh, the mohawk eye. Yeah, I see a lot of complaints. I thought it looked cool. I thought he looked cool. Like, nah. People are making fun of it. They're like, did like, I think it's Laura. Did Laura like snap away? halfway mm-hmm. through cutting his hair <laughs> it's um, dark i do think his family snapped away though i think that's gonna be the whole point mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but what is he doing in tokyo yeah no i mean that's the thing i think he went crazy because they snapped away and now he's just some crazy vigilante like mm-hmm. i don't know that's my thoughts uh, just two theory yeah and um, i mean they said sorry to interrupt but they said that these trailers and promotional material are all from the first 15 minutes. I know. Out of three hours. Out of three hours, which gets me so hyped because I'm like, wow. They show, I mean, if Tony Stark is in on Earth in the first 15 minutes, I mean, mm-hmm. makes me curious. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Yeah. Like what? They're, because from, we only have set photos mm-hmm. and I don't want to say what they are, but that can't be everything right like there has for three hours that can't be everything there's like, a lot there's so much that we like, don't know. we haven't seen and we have no idea I what know. to expect i'm which... so hyped we haven't seen anything even with set photos of thanos stuff in my mm-hmm. you know and no no movie Le- Le- I... no lego sets are ruining anything either yeah so. no exactly um, obviously thanos goes to the avengers facility i think that's all bs <laughs> like those yeah uh, no, those lego sets there. are just thrown in together because like but you had your theories with Iron Man three and everything, but I do. I don't necessarily know if it's for sure a thing, but it'd be cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else was I gonna say? We get a cool shot of War Machine in a new armor, mm-hmm. um, with Rocket in his comic outfit. So I was wrong. When, remember when we were talking about that from the Super Bowl one? I'm like, I'm pretty it? sure it's just white and gray or whatever, and. It, it was just the lighting that he's you know, actually wearing. They, his classic it kind of makes me sad that the war machine in the sets doesn't have like that armor. armor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really sad, but it gets me excited for like my series because I'll be able to do like everything that's not being shown here in the mm-hmm. sets. Like we even had a Funko pop leak of like the scale armor that we see in the trailer of captain America. So like there's a lot to do here, which I'm excited about. Yeah. Um, but uh oh captain marvel was in it it makes sense that now they're showing it Mm -hmm. um so i think for sure if you look at the super bowl one where we were talking about like who's missing from all these shots like it's her it's tony for whatever reason they decided to pull well i understand why they pulled her out of the the stuff throw back Um, to when i remember they said in back in the day they said that what was the age of ultron or civil war was supposed to end with captain marvel in the avengers team really yeah, but they changed it. A f- Are you sure it wasn't minute. Wasp? No, I thought it was. I thought it was Wasp and Captain Marvel and some other people. Like I, I guess I don't. That must have been a fake report because like th- this the story is so different than that they mm-hmm. could have appeared in that. I mean, at least I, I know Marvel. Wasp. She was seen in concept art, I think, for the first movie. Endgame uh, or Infinity War? No, yeah, no, for the first one, like the first Avengers movie. Like, really? they were going to introduce her back then. Because she's one of the original, like, her yeah, and yeah, Man are that. one of yeah. the original mm-hmm. um, Avengers concept mm-hmm. with Wasp. I mean, she was in Earth Mightiest Heroes, right? Was she? Oh, you know what? I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's Civil War she was supposed to be in. Oh, okay. That they had concept sense. art of her being in Civil War. Yeah. What is this? Ooh. Hello, Snapchat. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I don't have too much more to say. I think yeah. it was a great trailer. Uh, I think that they don't need to do anything else. I think already they didn't need to do anything else. And I don't think they will. I mean, uh, there's probably going to be a TV spot or two, but, like, last, for Infinity War, they just had, like, what, a TV spot or two that was new? Mm-hmm. For Age of Ultron, they did something really dumb where they had, they, were, they weren't showing everything, and then all of a sudden, one of the last ones, they just showed Vision. They were just like, here he is. Even though, like, we knew he was in it or whatever, mm-hmm. and we saw the Lego sets, they just put him in the trailer, and I just thought... I don't know why wait so long. They're or, much more. They were much more conscious here. I think. Yeah, for sure. Because I think like there's so much hype around this. 
I'm so I'm so hyped, dude. I can't yeah. believe it's coming in a month. Yeah, a month. Like, this a little is over it. a month. Like this is uh This is gonna uh, be the end of a saga. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, end of I'm a so hyped. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. And all right, can I just? Are we done with the? I, I could go into another topic right now. We can go into the next one if you want. Okay, or something I, else. I have another topic. Just go to like for bounce it. Add it. This. Toy Story Four. Yes. There has not been an official trailer yet. <laughs> I know. And this is very concerning. Like, we got that one teaser in November. We got a Super Bowl thirty second trailer, which I mean, I think even you said it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got a clip that like th- and the clip is the clip has here? been the only good part i would say uh even that like i like oh you didn't know the name of my sheep like oh right okay. yeah you're yeah. right i forgot yeah, about that like yeah you know what else we haven't gotten is a star wars one which that I... makes no that makes sense no that's... we used to we we got yes, a super we got bowl it... one last year and then i think was that the first one or did we have something before Okay, okay. I Two years go ago, over sorry. The, I My remember bad. all the breakdown. I got I got the breakdown. Okay, so Force Awakens, we got in March. a teaser in November. We got a teaser in November, in November? a trailer oh, right. in March. That was Chewy We're Home or something. It was yeah, like February see, March. but that's – we still yeah. had a teaser back in November. Yeah, so that was like Toy Story. Um, actually, I got to see when Chewy We're Home is. Um, and I'm sorry I banged my microphone We're twice. Home. Like that's That's okay. I uh, won't Force... edit it out in post. <laughs> Force Awakens trailer. I gotta find this because this is gonna have a lot of weight on it. Because um, oh, that's November twenty eighth, two thousand and fourteen. So a year before for the yeah, that teaser. was that one was the Black Friday one. Yeah, that was like Rebel... I remember that trailer. I love so much. When's Chewie my? It, we're home though. That's uh, in home. I'm guessing. Okay, we're April sixteenth. April sixteenth. And then the last trailer was October, which I remember all these. I used to rewatch these over and over and yeah, over and over. Yeah, especially, yeah, with mm-hmm. the music and everything. Oh, and the then, music in those trailers are just oh, yeah. like the piano. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, first, yeah. Which is I, why, the music sorry, we're gonna, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here. No, go for it. I didn't I like The Force Awakens and, oh, and The Last Jedi because they didn't, in all of the promotional stuff, they're like, we're going to hit you with the nostalgia here. Here's all of the old music. And then in the movie... You get these little little glimpses, not actual like themes or anything, which is fine. But I I don't know. I just don't like that. If if it was in if it was in the movie, I would have joined enjoyed them a hundred times more. Really? I think. Yeah. I don't mind that. I like it to be its own. I think they rely too much on nostalgia. If I had to be honest, I want it to be its own thing. But they're getting people into the theaters with that. I get it, but I mean that's why they were in the trailers. I don't. Like, Whoa! First official trailer for Last Jedi was on October 9th, twenty seventeen. No, I know, but they the teaser trailer was substantial. I mean, that was it's that two, that showed so much more two than minutes the, long. What the first teaser trailer? The first trailer because it came out in eighteen or seventeen of December. Yeah. Oh, it came out in twenty seventeen. Um, sorry, my yeah, bad, that's my bad. that one is April. You're right, April fourteenth. Dun, 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 dun. I still think we should have gotten something, even if it was the teaser from the first thing. It's flashback to like when I waited to eight hours, or what was it, 12 hours, 14 hours in line for the last shot I did. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, for what, Toy Story? Okay, where are we at? Okay, Toy Story 4. Okay, let's go all the way back to Toy Story 4. I did some oh, yeah, research, okay. okay? So those all movies came out in December, okay? So I don't even think it's fair to compare Star Wars. Let's compare Toy Story 3. Okay. Toy Story 3, the Let's first compare teaser. Incredibles. Let's look at Incredibles, but keep going. I'm okay, we can look at Incredibles, up. too, if you want. Um, you keep going, I'm going to look it up. Okay, Toy Story 3, first teaser, revolutionary. Not really revolutionary. Actually, I didn't like the first teaser of Toy Story 3 that much. That's when they built the logo. Mm-hmm. I wasn't that hyped then. I was not that hyped I was. Then. I was so excited really? just because it was something. I remember reading for years. Mm-hmm. I, I would be in, like, a doctor's office, and they had, yeah. like, magazines, and then I would go through the movies, and at the bottom it's like, they're working on it. They're working on it. They're working on it. And then finally, it happened. I like, remember the, yeah. the old uh, photos from the canceled Toy Story 3. Remember the canceled Toy Story 3? No. The one by Circle 7? Did you ever hear about this story? This no. This interesting crap. Like, this is... I used to read about this all the time. What Basically, the all right, we're, this is like tangent on tangent on tangent. Whoa. Okay, but this is interesting stuff. You ever heard about Circle 7's Toy Story 3, Circle 7's Monsters, Inc. 2? No, you're about to uh, get maybe Monsters mind... Inc. Two. Not you're about to get. I never heard about Toy Story. Blown. Okay, so I'm so ready. Back when Disney w- didn't own Pixar, 
they didn't renew the contract and they were going to make their own animation studio called Circle 7 where they made sequels to Pixar movies because they own Pixar rights. Mm-hmm. So they were going to make a Toy Story 3 and Monsters, Inc. 2. Uh, and so Toy Story 3, the original story was that Buzz got recalled and they have to go to Taiwan and save him or something like that. Yeah, and they I'm released these somebody. pictures of like, you see it's like recalled or whatever. And I would always see those and I'm like, huh, when is this coming out? And they, were, they kept pushing it back and oh. then it got canceled or something. So that's what I thought the original Toy Story 3 was going to be because I remember reading that back in 2006 or something. But then Disney acquired Pixar and then everything was good. And then, you know, Lasser wanted to make his own Toy Story 3 and, and then the rest was history. But What yes. was the Monsters Inc. one going to be? It was called Trouble in Paradise or Scaradice or something. And I don't remember. I think they, they went on a holiday or something. Like that was the whole thing. They went on a vacation. I don't remember that one too much, but the whole leak, the whole script for that leaked online. So you they have it. Buzz on an IV machine connected to a battery. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, there's so, a lot of cool concept for this. I know, it, and they they have like I said, I think I don't know if they have the Toy Story three script, but they definitely have the Monsters Inc two script. They or maybe some, I'm thinking of the Beetlejuice two script. I don't remember, but still, they have that's a separate up, story. Um, they have some up stuff here. They're on a shopping cart with a bunch of helium balloons above Tokyo or whatever this is. Sorry, Talk for up one, wherever you said. You know how, like, this is pre-up, I'm guessing, yeah. but they have the oh. idea of with the healing balloons. You know what's funny? Like. I don't think anybody at Pixar worked on these movies, so oh, maybe up stole from that. Maybe. Because this was like a break-off. This was like Disney, and the Pixar people were pissed. They were like, what, you know, this is, these are our products, like, these are our movies, why are you mm. taking it? They were supposed to be like directed dvd crap, too. You know what's interesting here is that, what? oh, was it really? Yeah, like I, I, they were supposed um, to be low budget, and and like I know Tim Allen refused to sign on, or, or like Tom Hanks refused to sign on because he was like, this isn't good, you know. Interesting. Um, but the they have a picture here of Buzz falling into a shredder, like in the garbage, oh. mm, and they also see. have a, I think a, a dead Buzz, or something. Uh-oh. Woody's crying over Buzz or something. That's dark, and it looks like in a trash area too. That is so. dark. There you I go. want to look into that then. That's awesome. Yeah, this is it's some great, great stuff that people don't talk about much. Maybe I should just make a video on it, but yeah. Um, so, anyways, where were we at? Okay, Toy Story 4 trailers. <laughs> Toy Story 3 trailers. We were looking at Incredibles. Uh, Incredibles teaser came okay, out yeah, on November 18th of mm-hmm. 2017. Okay, so when the what first day the trailer. Toy Story 2? Toy Story when the time. trailer for, for Incredibles 2. 2. The one where they're like, you know, the Chinese. It's the one where. Take out. It was. Oh, you mean the official trailer? Yeah. Uh, you look that up. I'm going to look up okay. the teaser. Oh, there might be a case. Uh, I believe okay. November 12th is the date that the Toy Story one came out. So same week as the teaser for Incredibles 2. Are you talking about Toy Story? Toy Three? Story 4, yep. Oh, Toy Story 4, okay. So same week. Because look at this. Incredibles 2 official trailer was April 13th, they say. Really? So maybe maybe everything is okay, but then again, <laughs> maybe how Incredibles okay. 2 turned out. You know, hey, it made a lot of money though. So wait, what is this? Hold up. What's Official this? trailer no, eleven months ago. Yeah, April thirteenth. Okay, there you go. There you so go. So maybe they're just saving it for April. It's which okay, I think is folks. A bad calm decision. down in the comments. I guess we're I gotta okay. calm down too. You know? We're we're all fine. Wait, what's... We're all fine here. Oh yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm just trying to double. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make this very. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, nope, 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 nope. What? what? Chill out. Olympic sneak peek. Oh, okay. but we had a sneak peek at the Super Bowls. We no, no. That. Okay, that was a 30 second. Okay, they basically released the official Credibles 2 trailer on February for the Olympics. Look at this Olympic sneak peek. This is a full freaking trailer. Look at this. Type in Incredibles 2 Olympic sneak peek. That was a trailer, and yes, I saw this in the theaters. Okay, so I was right. We should be panicking. We should be worried. <laughs> okay, February 14th. Go back 14th. to panicking, folks. <laughs> we, but we've gotten a clip, which Incredibles didn't, and we also had the Super Bowl one. So combine those two times, and you probably have and more I, content And it still would this. be less than this. I'm telling you. This is like, a I know, but 30, a go, clip folks, that nobody math. has seen versus Voice a trailer story. that a lot of people have seen. Oh, that's true. It was on Good Morning America. Yeah, like, I don't think anybody's even talking about that clip. Like, let's be honest. That's a good point. The general public, I'm saying, like, they need to sell this movie because nobody, okay, not nobody, uh, many people are not sold on Toy Story 4. Can you agree with that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, like, the, you're, the, like, the only person that I've talked to, and I've only, like, seen, I've only been watching, like, people go on interviews, and mm-hmm. everyone's hyped for that. 
really okay because i've talked to many people in like toy story 4 like what is like why are they making this toy story yeah why is this happening I think it's... yeah so that's what i'm worried about i i want this to be i you know i want this to be good and i want this to be a hit movie because you know they go hand in hand i think uh mm-hmm. if it does good in the box office and it's a good movie we'll get more good movies and lego sets and lego sets that is true. <laughs> you know and like the lego movie 2 was a good movie in my opinion but it didn't do good in the box office and that was like mm-hmm. sad now if it's a bad movie and it does good then we'll get more bad movies if it's a good movie and it does bad we won't get more movies like that like blade runner which makes me sad because i love blade right runner, yeah that's a good that's a good example of yeah that's a really great I, movie that yeah. didn't do good and you know the lego movie 2 is another one that i think um you know that that's another topic we could even talk about that being done but my point is they need to get they need to release something quick because there hasn't been anything for toy story 4 like the first teaser didn't really do much let's be honest i mean like forky i don't belong here <laughs> yeah yeah like i, I yeah people want to see why that doesn't tell them why they should see toy story well 4. what was the teaser for incredibles well it was just in, uh what, the, you olympic have sneak peek? powers that's yeah the yeah, first yeah, teaser. yeah that's fine but the olympic sneak peek showed the story it showed that they're back it got us excited yeah yeah you know that's what, what did I'm the super bowl for. one do oh it just threw bo peep in y- yeah that was like mind you we did get the other anything. teaser don't forget the other one with bunny and and chick so we have gotten oh, two teasers gosh yeah. well yeah okay yes we did get that but like those i'm telling you those don't show why people should see we need a little bit they of showed them at, i don't know what movie it was but i saw both of them back to back they put both of them on i don't remember what really? movie it was but they did that yeah interesting i out. i remember i only saw i think once only like i don't even see this in theaters like once i saw the the, the toy story 4 trailer i think it was like for maybe was it aquaman or if, no it's probably spider-verse it was some yeah. yeah yeah that's probably what it was you're right i knew it was christmas and I, i've seen the lego movie two three times in theaters and i have not seen it any time with that mm-hmm. granted the second time i came in late you were there <laughs> yeah yeah um what was i gonna say uh i have another disney thing that we didn't talk about i th- yeah, don't think we it. mentioned it last week but aladdin did you watch the new trailer oh the trailer yeah uh psh, i mean damage control for genie i guess yeah uh i still have like out of the three disney movies releasing this year this might be the one i least hyped for i mean now there's four what, oh dumbo maleficent two and dumbo and um, yeah i said three three is oh, Lion King. you didn't say which ones oh and oh yeah i live, see what you're saying action. live action and then four is maleficent which that's another topic you excited for maleficent too no i hated the first one yeah the first uh, one was garbage i've never been so i love maleficent Mm-hmm. A, a large part of that is because of Kingdom Hearts. Um, like she's a great villain, mm-hmm. and she's oh, used sure. in a lot That's of why Disney in... marketing as well. Like, like her and Cruella Deville are like they're both getting their own movies. Well, she got her own movie because they're such yeah. memorable villains. But they made her a hero. Yeah, which I hated, and they changed the whole uh, the kiss thing. I can't, I can't think of the word. Yeah, I don't. I don't true, mind them true changing stuff, but thing. it's like the reason we saw the this is because we want to see her doing cool villainous stuff. It's an interesting concept because like out of all the live action remakes this one seemed the most promising to me even though it was like the first one um because they could do so much new with it and what they did new was exactly the opposite of what we wanted Mm -hmm. like can you just make a movie about a villain like i hate this whole thing where we're making movies about villains but they're actually good but they're good yeah (sighs) did the same crap where it's like we don't want to see him being good let's see him doing crazy evil stuff yeah. And I'm not saying, like, go gory with Maleficent, but, like, no, no, no. we want to see her saying. being cool and villainous and just evil. And Did did Gaston die in uh, Beauty and the Beast? Or did I think he live? One. Yeah, no, he, he did. He did die, too? I think. Um, They've discussed making, like, a spinoff of him, right? Uh, I don't know. With, but with, I think... It's Luke Evans or something? Yeah, Luke Evans. Dracula's was... own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if, oh, man, I can't wait for my... What is it called? The Universal Monsters Universe? Oh, uh, yeah. The Invisible the Lego Man sense. is going to be man. supposedly... The Dark Universe. Dark Universe. The Invisible Man is going to be gender swapped or something i'm hearing this week or there's oh, all this news coming out about the dark universe i'm like oh, I'm so excited. well now they're well yeah they're making it about by blumhouse which is a great idea because not that they're the best studio but they do stuff cheap that's what they should have done for, i don't know why they made this this a hundred million dollar action movie 
they should have made <laughs> these small horror movies which if they're doing that now with invisible man and all that that i yeah. think that would actually be successful not really my cup of tea but i think it'll be a success mm-hmm. but um yeah but aladdin sorry aladdin let's jump back yeah to that. tangents uh, and tangents it's okay it's, there there wasn't anything that I don't like Jafar. He does not look creepy and yeah. scary or repulsing at yeah. all. Like, he doesn't look menacing. He just looks mm-hmm. like a guy, and his voice sounds just like Yeah, he a looks guy. like a normal guy. I mean, he looks even more handsome than Aladdin. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, that's the other thing. I don't know if I mentioned this, but he's he like he's known for being shirtless and having a six-pack. <laughs> like, that... And they've just thrown this weird shirt on him. Like, he's on the streets, like... It just, oh, this movie just makes me so upset. Again, I don't mind if they change stuff up, but this doesn't, like, I don't know. I, like, who are they, like, what is the, again, another one with Toy Story 4, like, what's the selling point of it? Like, what's the point? Will Smith. And and that's the part where they messed up big time. Yeah. But now people are saying they fixed it, maybe, because I saw, oh, it's actually not that bad. So maybe Disney did the right move in this one. But maybe. I don't, this is the least interesting out of all of them. Um, the only thing that was vaguely interesting was it seemed like Naomi Scott, right? That's her name. I am. She could sing, I think. She yeah, was doing pretty good with A Whole New World. The Whole New World, that's what has me... That was the only part where I, like, I kind of got, like, huh, this could be good. That's the only... Yeah, that was... Like, All the like, Will okay. Smith stuff? No. Still not feeling yeah. it. Because, like, um, I think my favorite part of these remakes is the music. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they, they, they do... Because we still have the original music, but they do a new twist on them. Like, the remake of, uh, you know... The jungle, the monkey song. Oh, yeah, walk, yeah. like like uh, one beat. Uh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm the king of the swingers Swing of the jungle oh, yeah. VIP. They made like a new version with Christopher Walken singing it, and uh-huh. yeah, that was cool. Like, I mean, the Jungle Book is the best of these. I haven't seen too many. Beauty and the Beast, I thought was pretty darn bad. Like, it looked ugly. The music was terrible. You didn't like be our guest. No, nope. seeing that in nope. real life. No, nope. I thought that because looked it looked better. so. I think it looked great. Really. I, Ugh, that movie is so ugly to me. You don't know how ugly. Everything looks. It is so a little dark. And, yeah. Uh, uh, like it looked like a DCEU movie. No. <laughs> but like, yeah, the best part of that whole th- movie though was Gaston and Lefou. I think Le I thought they were great. Every scene with them was great. I like I like their little storyline. But other than that, everything else in that movie was garbage. But yeah. Um, and a side character, uh, we found out this week that Iago is being voiced by Alan Tudyk, which I think yeah. is great casting. I saw like, you were I, hyped. I hear I, Okay, can I make an unpopular opinion? Yeah. I do not care for Alan Tudyk. <laughs> like, I can't... If you said how's his voice, I can't even picture his voice in my head. Like, I know he's done so many voices, but he's so generic in his voices to me. Like, Really? When you say think of Gilbert Gottfried's voice. Yeah. That's, like, iconic. Think you know? of King Candy. All right. Okay, you got me there. King Candy had a good voice. That's about it. Think um, of uh, what's his name? Um, K two S O. I can't really. really. Like I like the character, but like the voice doesn't come to my mind. Well, he was the weasel in Zootopia, right? He was like. Well, I mean, those are king? just cameos. I wouldn't say that those are ever like. I wouldn't say. I would say that Frozen. He kind of had a role. He was I can't the even guy, picture that one. He was the guy that Elsa almost killed with the ice. I know, but like I can't like. I, I can't really... picture the voice either. It's just yeah. probably him with a British. Thing, I like, but I think they could have brought back Gilbert Gottfried. Like that was a pretty. Yeah, he was cheesed. Yeah, for sure. I he, I, I could imagine tweeted what something he said. Out. He said? I, I don't remember, but he, I know he said something. Or no, he didn't say anything directly. He retweeted something by Ooh. someone else, really hating on it. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I, mean, I think it was like, I... why are they making this movie? And he retweeted it. <laughs> Well, he has a good point. I mean, I mean, we all know why they're making it, but like, yeah, you know, I um, like. But uh, uh, there was also a bit in the trailer where there's a giant Iago, so they've clearly. I don't remember that in the first in the real one. So, yeah, I, I mean, they're they're straying here. I gotta rewatch. I'm gonna rewatch Aladdin soon because it's been mm-hmm. a while. But are we? You know. Are you gonna watch Dumbo? And, what rewatch it or watch? Are you gonna watch the new one? The live back. I I think I've come to the point where I probably will. Okay. Um, because. Out of all of them, that seems like the one they're doing the most original stuff with, at least from my memory. Mm-hmm. But uh, also, specifically, one thing that this one lacks, Aladdin lacks, is star power. Like Besides, yeah, Will Smith. Will Smith is the only one, and that looked horrible. And yeah. then, at least Dumbo has, like, Michael Keaton, which I love. Mm-hmm. Danny Colin DeVito, Farrell. which I love. Colin Farrell, which is a great actor, too. Um, mm-hmm. 
Like that has three. That has a lot of stars in it, which is great. Uh, Lion King has a lot of stars too, but like that one is just I don't that again. This like the out of I know Dumbo. I'm not even super interested in it, but it looks the most unique out of all of them because Tim Burton's directing it too, which is interesting yeah. to me. But like, like the Lion King one looks so boring, generic, like it just, and just a remake. Yeah, like again, it it looks so like it's just the color scheme is so boring and just like like why do we need yeah. to watch this at least dumbo looks like it might be original like you know they could mm-hmm. do something interesting with it like the like, color uh, scheme is dark but it's like tim burton you know but with yeah, lion king there is so much detail and like mm-hmm. the i'm thinking of the i just can't wait to be king like someone yeah. did a breakdown and there's just all these african like prints and stuff that are in like the background like that's such a colorful yeah, um thing. The whole movie. how are you gonna you can't do that in a in a live action thing yeah like I mean, whenever whenever they do that that song there's no way that comparison like comparisonly mm-hmm. it can't live up to that it can't i mean you know i hope it does but it can't like to bring yeah. up my points from my friends from sardana cast you know they say the all these disney movies especially lion king they're all about facial ex- like the animation they're animated for a reason like the mm-hmm. facial expressions show so much. Yeah. The the body like you can't do that with a realistic looking you know lion. You can't do that with a realistic looking animal where these mm-hmm. facial expressions and these big eye, like those sell so much. That means so much emotion to the animated version that you can't interpret that to live action. Yeah, you can't move their mouths animals. the same way. Like I'm picturing when when Simba's seeing uh, Mufasa die. Mm-hmm. like i'm picturing his whole facial thing you can't do that yeah. on otherwise it would look like really scuffed but oh yeah, yeah for sure like can you feel the love tonight like that's <laughs> that there's so many facial expressions in that one <laughs> that are just so uh you know i mean so uh intimate and like like oh man that, yeah. like, rewatching lion king recently was just a joy like i love that movie and i've mm-hmm. rediscovered my love for that movie and i I just want to rewatch all the Disney movies from my childhood because I'm like, these are great. And then seeing these new ones, it's like, that's the best thing to come from it. It inspired me to rewatch these classic ones because I just that's can't true. Beat the yeah. Classics. Yeah, but that's like in the future, do you think they'll make a live action Toy Story and stuff like? Like what? Where are they moving towards this? Like, well, I mean, they're doing everything. They're doing Stitch on the Disney streaming service, yeah. and they're doing uh, Lady and the Tramp has already been filmed or in. Yeah. They're probably the gonna do an up or something like up i could see but yeah yeah lady and i saw i saw them on set and granted i know like it's pre everything like pre uh like yeah. all the cgi and everything but it just looks really wonky and i i don't know oh, i guess yeah. the first one was one of 101 dalmatians was there any oh if you want i mean there's there's a lot of like there was like, like an the, adaptation though there was a jungle book live action that nobody talks really about. like there was a live action disney jungle book yeah nobody talks about that one um but yeah 101 i remember that mm-hmm. uh i don't remember it being very good but like to me the modern ones were started with maleficent right and then it was what maleficent cinderella which granted cinderella. i never saw cinderella was cinderella good i heard it was okay it was it was fine it's not yeah. it's definitely better than maleficent because mm-hmm. anything is better than that well i heard they did a lot of new stuff with it which you know that's a good yeah thing they changed yes they did it was pretty good um but, oh uh... no the first one alice in wonderland in oh, you're right. That yeah. was the first. That was even before. That was actually the one because that made so much money. That made yeah. over a billion. Was it th- two? Just two of them, right? Or three? What two? Alice in Wonderland. Two. Two Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, there's two. There was one, and it wasn't directed by uh, Tim Burton. And it was garbage. And then the first one, I did not like the first one either. So I didn't like the first one either. Yeah, which back then weird. I liked a lot of movies. That was one of the ones where it was just like, and that was by Tim Burton. So that is concerning, you know, like because mm-hmm. dumbo's by tim burton too oh they're also talking about doing a nightmare before christmas are you kidding me yeah Why? i think that would that would that would be so successful i don't think oh, it would i don't know that uh, but re- like one of the charms is a stop motion like really like yeah they were that, talking about that recently oh my, i remember seeing they're gonna make it so bland like there's so many cool character models in that like yeah Ugh. <sighs> God. Why? <laughs> Anyways, okay, whatever. Again, you still have the originals, but it's just like they could yeah. be putting more. Mar- I mean, just release like four Marvel movies, or care. release a sequel. Like, 
a you sequel. walk into Hot Topic and all you see is like this whole Jack Skellington like mm-hmm. like whole area just um, I take a sequel over yeah, yeah I take a sequel over too but. which yeah I mean just put more I don't know release more animated crap if you like original idea I just like original you know like it's one thing to like I mean because all these old Disney movies are based off of old tales you know yeah, yeah. what is it called out uh, Hamlet, Lion King, yeah. right? Um, you know, King, uh, Cinderella, yeah, yeah. all these old, mm. they're old stuff, but like, you know, they're just remaking, trying to capture the original ones, redoing the music and everything. It's just like, I don't give a crap. Like Mulan coming out and they're going to cut oh, And there's all no the music, songs. there's no love interest. Like, there's all this stuff yeah, against that movie. I like, it just feels so bland and boring. Like, I, my favorite part of Mulan is music. Like, I don't know if it's the best movie story-wise, but like, I love yeah the music of Mulan at least mm-hmm. two of the song like you know uh make a man just, out of you yeah of and, course that uh, one and uh a girl worth fighting for are my two favorites mm-hmm. I don't know about you uh There's, like, I only the remember lantern the one. song or something is, or is that from Tangled? I don't, I don't know. The Lantern Song's Tangled probably. Okay, but... there was the one the one in the beginning where she's looking in the there's like a pond or something. It's last time I saw Tangled I mean last time I saw Mulan was like 5 4 years ago. I yeah, I don't know. But I just, again, all these live action ones, I don't, and it sucks because I'm probably going to see them all. <laughs> <And I'm hurting laughs> I don't know about Mulan, but I feel like maybe garbage. the other stuff. But yeah, Mulan, like, I definitely want to protest, I think. <laughs> I mean, if there is no music in there, I will legitimately not see that. Yeah. Like, I don't think I have any interest. Again, my favorite part of the original was the music. Like,. Mm. I don't think I'll even see it. Um, Aladdin. I don't think I'm going to see Aladdin. I'll be honest. I don't think I'm going to see Aladdin. I think you have to. Really? Not for the cast. For Will Will Smith, because I I don't think it's going to be very good. <laughs> okay. Well, I if really it isn't, don't. then yes. I'm. I mean, okay. Yeah. If the early buzz is that it sucks, then yeah, I'll see it. I'll freaking see it. But like, <laughs> if it's just boring, then yeah, I'm not going to see it. But well, you're right. You're right. It's a bizarre right. world, I, everyone, where <laughs> Justin only sees bad movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, if he could go in with the ranks of Lex Luthor, oh. Yeah my gosh i where's his movie come on we didn't back <laughs> he's on supergirl eh? john cryer from i saw Two and oh half my Men gosh is playing i saw a preview of that. Luther. what the heck ducky, and what is ducky doing there it's people are crazy. like people are saying i i haven't watched it because i think it was tonight and i'm like he's bald he's already better than jesse eisenberg i don't even care like just that on its own <laughs> is already better than really? jesse eisenberg <laughs> so yeah oh man i mean he was bold at the end. Come on. Oh, my goodness. And he was bald in Justice League, too. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> speaking of DC movies and such, yeah. um, it was uh, announced this week that James Gunn will be returning to Helm Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah. Um, and this was met by more love, I think. A lot of love. I wouldn't even say I saw barely any any hate towards this it's not like one post it's like because um, you know they brought some specifics stuff. actually i did see something and we'll talk yeah. about who it is but uh, uh let's go with your thoughts first my thoughts i'm this blew my mind because disney is such a stubborn freaking studio mm-hmm. i didn't think they would do this but i guess they've been <laughs> bending over a lot lately like yeah they cha- the, the we didn't even talk about the poster where they're just like okay yeah she should have been there in the beginning um for Endgame. Which, for what? For the Endgame poster where they added Denai Guerrero. Wait, she wasn't in the original one? She wasn't. Her name wasn't in the original one on the headline. Oh. So people are like, it could be racist. But, what is oh this? my goodness. And she's not even. I was just like. Just be grateful I, okay. she's on the poster. Yeah, I'll, I'll say two things about that. First off, they added her on the poster so they could get fans of the Black Panther movie in. Uh, yeah, because everyone's dead from that. Yeah, so they're like, okay, you know, we could put that in. It made sense because, like, they had for most of the franchises on there, and Black Panther is one of the most popular MC mo- movies. But they had also, Wong as well <laughs> to pander to. They did uh, not have Wong. Wong's on the poster, isn't he? His Pretty name, sure. His name's in the bottom. Avengers, if you look at the bottom, Endgame. Is he on poster. there? I could have sworn he's on the poster. His name is at the bottom. You know, Benedict uh, Wong has Wong, right? Uh, Avengers Endgame poster. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, if you see at the bottom, they say Gwyneth Paltrow, Benedict Wong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... And Spider-Man. Don't forget Spider-Man was on the poster, too. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Look okay, next to Captain America's shield. 
What the heck are you talking about? Look next to Captain America's shield. Zoom in. What the heck? What? Are you trolling? Because I don't see crap. Are you, like, looking at a fake poster? No. Is Zoom this a in joke? next to Captain America's shield. Is this a joke? Cause I Search Spider-Man fans, Marvel fans spot Spider-Man in... <laughs> In Avengers Endgame poster. I do not see this at all. There's nothing. Just do it. <laughs> okay, what is it? Everyone Avenger... in the viewers, do it. Avengers the... Endgame yeah. Spider-Man uh, poster. Let's see. <laughs> Let me see. What the heck is this? What is this? You don't see next to Captain America's shield all the dust and particles? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was dark, Ashton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You son of a gun. <laughs> I'm like looking here. I'm like zooming in. Uh, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Screw you. That was such an emotional part. You, you we just want to ride there. That was so good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, you got me. That was funny. That was funny. Uh, but yeah, anyways, where were we at? Yeah, so they they were complaining. But like, it's all about billing. I mean, her agent just didn't negotiate a good uh, deal for that. And she wasn't even in any of the trailers. Mm -hmm. Like, but... They should have, you know, put her in a trailer at least. But it's just weird that she's only on the poster. Yeah. But whatever. So, yeah. They bent over and they put it. Okay, deny Guerrero. Um, but, yeah, it's, that just, like, I, that's a whole billing. When when you see names on the top of the poster, those are by billing of, like, but who got paid the she most. She is on the poster. And everything. No. What? She is on the poster. Yeah, so she is. I think... Let's see who's up here. There's been so many. Look at you can look at so many major motion picture posters that they don't have the names at the top. Hmm. Because again, the top is sorted by billing. So like, I I think even in the Infinity War poster, there was characters at the front who were not. Well, let me see Infinity War poster. I hope that uh, Vin Diesel wasn't mentioned at the top. I th maybe. Uh, I don't see his name. That gets me so happy. There's no small. There's no short name, so there it's not you go. loading in. But I don't think it's here. Good. Yeah. So there was a lot of people at the top that was like missing. So mind you, Groot's not in. Oh, he. Didn't... Yeah. Anyways. So um... where were we at? Oh, Wong's on the poster there in the little top right corner. Oh, dude! I looked at that Infinity War poster for like years. Like I was, I was zooming in. Did you see what I posted on Insta today? What was it? Beautiful. Someone made a beautiful Justice League poster based off the Endgame one. Like just it, it's it's stunning. Like it looks so fantastic. It's I saw you posted story. some Justice League poster and I didn't recognize it right off the bat. You're like, if only, if only. Okay, yeah. I see. I didn't even it's notice amazing. that as a poster for, for I I didn't notice that based off the End Game poster. But yeah, yeah, that is cool. That is cool. If um, only, really. If like, only. and that that Justice League movie was just such a waste. Such a great movie. Um, oh yeah, definitely. but uh, James Gunn. James Gunn, yeah. I'll give okay, my two cents. Back. I think that it's horrible that they did this. I don't think that... Uh, so if you don't know, he's directing Suicide Squad mm -hmm. 2 slash reboot slash new Suicide mm -hmm. Squad, whatever the heck is going on there, because they keep going back and forth with that. Anyways, he's directing that. I don't think Warner Brothers should have hired him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think... Uh, I think that with everything going on today... I don't understand how this happened. Like, everyone is complaining about all these things that people are saying, um, but they're ignoring it because they love Guardians, and they love these two movies and everything about that. I, It's strange okay, to me. Wait, and it makes what, me sad. What was it? Okay, wait. So you're saying about what he said, or...? About what he said. About all okay. the tweets and stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go into the specifics of everything, and okay. I wouldn't recommend that you do... If okay, it's not for kids. And, yeah, it's not for kids. Okay, all right. We've had this debate many times. Those were jokes. They were clearly jokes. They were stupid. But either way, you jokes. have to have a very sick mind to be thinking about that. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I see crappy jokes like that all the time. Like I see There's terrible still racist jokes, wrong. terrible pedophilia jokes. Okay. all these jokes. So let me let me. He had the humor of like a middle schooler, but it's whatever. I mean. I don't think joke. that he should have been hired in the first place. They need to do a better extensive background check. Oh, yeah. Like, that's if, on if that's Disney a... for doing yeah, that, okay. for not doing it in the first place. Warner yeah. Brothers, I get it's a smart move hiring him on. I still don't mm -hmm. think that he should be doing it. Um, but 
I'm going to talk about something that someone tweeted out today. Uh, James Woods, who is the voice of Hades, mm-hmm. um, he tweeted out saying uh, something like, interesting move, Disney. Uh, when is Roseanne going to be hired back on for the show? Mm-hmm. Which, arguably, uh, I would say what she said is less offensive or okay. morally not as bad as this. And mm-hmm. AMC or a- ABC? ABC is owned by Disney, okay. so it's the same family. But go ahead. I have a lot to say about what you just said, and it's okay. It's your opinion. But first off, I said they shouldn't have hired him in the first place if they fired him because of those tweets, because obviously they saw those tweets back in the day. So if those were a problem, then you shouldn't have hired him in the first place. But the fact that they rehired him means that they could have hired him in the first place and it would have been fine because they were just stupid jokes. Now, with Roseanne, it's different because what she said was in the moment. What she said was something she said in June. That's okay? true. That's a good point. So that was a current contemporary thing. These stupid jokes James Gunn apologized for way back in the day when, I don't know, some article brought it up. Way back before I think he even did Guardians. He apologized for them. And it's done. That's it. He apologized. He said they were stupid jokes. I recognize them as jokes. They're stupid you know they're like family guy tier of jokes maybe like a little bit worse than that but like you know they're they're just like i see crappy jokes like that all either the time. way is that someone that you hire on to a family yeah because oriented, he apolo- because he apologized um, for them he, apo- he he said he was sorry for them years after and that's you know what i what is he supposed to do just delete them like you can't delete something on the internet and i think he did delete you don't them say it in the first place yeah well, he was, you got to look at, his background was doing edgy stuff. Like, he used to do all these edgy movies uh, with Troma Entertainment, which is just, they do these disgusting, edgy, and I'm not saying bad, I'm just saying that's like their, their shock, their shock studio. So, I, you know, it doesn't surprise me what he said in those jokes there, but they were clearly jokes to me. I don't think it was like, oh, he's secretly a pedophile or whatever. I know, crazy we're talking about this here. <laughs> so I guys got to defend him because I recognize them as jokes. I recognize them as stupid jokes. They weren't funny, but they were clearly jokes. And he apologized them for before he, I think, released the first Guardian. So it's fine, you know. And the Roseanne thing's a different thing because that was in the moment. Even though that was apparently a joke too, I feel bad for her too because she was, she she was apparently on one of those uh, crazy pres- not prescription, but I think it's over counter whatever it is, and but like. Disney, do you see what Disney has made back in the day? Yeah, These racist cartoons. Racist stuff. So, which they've apologized for before, but um, it was weird to fire James Gunn in the first place because when they did that for something horrible they put back out back in the day, literally Disney did the same crap where they put out these horrible things and they you know it, it just seems so hypocritical to me is the point when they fired him so i'm glad they brought him back because again what he said was stupid and dumb and horrible but to me they were clearly jokes and he was just for shock and that makes sense for james gunn but he apologized for them way back when and i accept his apology so that's my two cents and also i don't think warner bros should fire him because if guardians 3 is releasing and suicide squad 2 warner bros is in a tough situation now i mean yeah they just made aquaman but they haven't really gotten critically acclaimed stuff and you know it's good to yeah, have they do i would say they do they have wonder woman and aquaman going towards them aquaman was not critically acclaimed it was uh, oh critically successful. acclaimed you're critically saying? acclaimed yeah i'm trying to say critically well, acclaimed do they care about critically when it when all the I movies so. are making Batman v Superman, you think they care? That movie made so much money. They don't care about no, all that stuff. No, okay, I'll, I'll tell you two reasons why. First off, maybe not because of Aquaman, but for Batman v Superman, that made so much less than what it could have made, I think because of the reception. And you can see they do care because they hired that one girl for Patty the, Jenkins? Harley Quinn. No, oh, no, for Harley Quinn. I know who Quinn. you're saying, yeah. And she did this independent thing. So they, they, they're they trying to make that, and they're trying to make... The Joker movie, the Joker spinoff movie, the both of those are trying to be like critical movies. If you look at it, like they mm. hyped it up, they said Scorsese is producing this You're and everything. Right, yeah. So they want something that's not only good but also a big box hot fist smash hit. You mm-hmm. know, so I think they want something critically acclaimed, and they see James Gunn and they're like, "Oh crap, he he makes great movies. Uh, 
you know, he did Guardians, which is basically what we're looking for for Suicide, the Suicide Squad, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I think it's smart to keep him on for that. I think Warner Bros., you know, they should be grateful that he's even signed on for that still, you know? Oh, do, yeah, do you see that? for sure. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, I can see him dropping out. Like, Yeah. I'm... I could see him dropping out of that more than Guardians, even though Guardians, Disney reluctantly took him back, you know? Because mm-hmm. Guardians is so is going to be a so much bigger movie. It's going to be a better movie, let's be honest. Well, if it's directed by him. Who's yeah, say? if it's directed by him, yes, exactly. So, yeah, all that has it going for it. So Warner Bros., I wouldn't be. Disney, I'm surprised, because, like, I'll be honest, if I was Disney and I fired him, I would not bring him back. No, I think that looks... It looks bad. It looks really bad. Because when you fire somebody, it's not good to... But then, like... Okay. I mean, this is going to be controversial, but I don't think it's good to... You know... Like what I said with the poster thing, where you give in so easily. Yeah, no, no. I understand exactly what you're saying. They're listening... Well, but... Okay, that's a different instance. I don't know if it's listening to the fans. It's like... When you make This is just rolling over. Like, this is just... This is... I because if you it give makes in look to really every time weak, like complains. any any time that they're saying yeah. this, this is what they're doing, and I didn't yeah. even realize that uh, about Okai. So that to me just yeah, yeah, I don't like know. if you if you that's not good. If you give in every time the fans complain, <laughs> you're gonna have something different than what you intended because yeah. that's the thing. But then again, there's an the argument that Disney wants to make the most universally liked things. And so maybe that will help mm. for it. If you see, I mean, a lot of their movies, like, they're trying to make it widely universal blockbuster so they could be blockbusters all around the world and be accepted by everybody. So there's also that going for it. But, like, if I was Disney, if I fired him, that's it. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I don't think, but, like, if, but if I was Disney, I wouldn't have fired him in the first place. So. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have fired him in the first place either because of... Uh because they sh- like this shouldn't be happening years later. Yeah, exactly. Like, that to me we've, does not make sense. We um, they've let's be honest, they've known about the tw- whatever the, I know they said, "Oh, we didn't know about." Th-. They they knew about these. You vets, when you hire somebody anywhere in a job, you look over all of their history. Yeah. Look over everything. And that's always what they say. They say, "Be careful what you post online because it's true. Employers look at everything you've done." And especially if you're Disney, like Yeah. Yeah, especially if so you're going to be making this, this stuff. huge, um, yeah, yeah, this huge, big bo- um huge production of a movie. Mm-hmm. Even though it was a risk, I still think. Well, my, he, he, maybe, maybe he was. I don't know. Maybe he was. Maybe he was the only one that would do it because it was such a risk. But, <laughs> or, no, <laughs> let's be honest. Come on, dude. I mean, even at that point in the MCU, like, that was a movies... huge risk. I, it's it's a Guardians risk, of the Galaxy but it's. A huge I know risk. it's a huge risk, but he's not the only one who would do it. There was probably a, a bunch of other directors who would do it. Like you could get. There's so many directors trying to get just a Disney movie in general, even if, <laughs> if it's like the Lady and the Tramp streaming movie. Like <laughs> they're just trying to get a big, you know, and they all they have is these like one thousand dollar movies that are like indie films. Yeah, like, they could have got anybody. We'll do Lilo and, and Stitch, right? What was that? You and I will direct Lilo. Yeah, we'll we'll direct it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do the artwork and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just tell you what to do with the, how to create these characters. No, but yeah. So, yeah. Again, it, and I, you know, I don't think it's bad that they hired him in the first place because again, he apologized for. I think people making a stink about it, like, uh, just you know, if you look at the situation, that one, and I don't even think it's comparable to Roseanne. And when they fired Roseanne. You know, I even though I don't know if she like I, I feel bad that she was fired. I think it was probably the best decision at the situation because what she said was really not appreciated by the general public. Yeah. But like when James Gunn was fired, even the general public was like, you know, rehire him. And that's why they've you know I don't know. Like yeah, it was like I with the James Gunn situation, people... one person called her called him out and then with Roseanne a whole bunch of people were like, Yeah, that's not this isn't right, you know. I just think that yeah, I just think that people are overlooking things when it comes to that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Like, that they're overlooking all the things that... He, I don't know if... if I, I don't know. I don't it's know. okay. No, I know you, you mean... I know what you mean. And I get it. And I don't agree, but it's okay. It's your opinion. Yeah, but... 
I don't know. Well, he's back, so yay for Guardians 3 whenever that happens. Yeah, I mean, are you at least excited that he's back for the quality of the movie, you know? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, did you like I, Guardians 2? I didn't 2? like I the second one, so... Um, did, how many times have you watched it? Uh, maybe three times. Okay. Because when I... I didn't like it the first time, and I rewatched it, and I thought it was really good. Like, I... I it's one of my favorite MCU films now, that I rewatched it, and I don't know why, but... Hey, if you watched it one more time than me and you still don't like it... <laughs> That's okay. No, not not too big a fan of it. But. Yeah, like the first one, I think is like I've seen that like three or four times, and I'm like, eh, you know, it's 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 good. It's yeah, like a six out. 10, I think at the, the time I like loved that one a lot more, but looking mm-hmm. back, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, that's how I feel about most of these, I think. But uh, I see, I see. I, I, that's a topic for another. Then time, there's I like think. Infinity War, which I've seen like five or six times. <laughs> I love it every freaking time. That's a great movie. The best Marvel movie. Dare I say ever? I don't know. Best Logan Marvel was up there. Movie. You know, the old Spider Mans were up there, but I don't know, man. The old Spider Mans were up there. What? I mean, when was the on. last time you watched them? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I, the last one I watched was Spider Man Three. <laughs> and that when one was, was that? Oh, that dude! I've watched Spider Man Three like that one. First off, I don't know. My mom loves that one, and it's the most. I think it's the only one we have on DVD, so we watch a lot. But like, I saw that what in October. It's bad. That one's bad. But yeah, I got we got to rewatch Spider-Man 1 and 2 to be fair. And I cuz I want to do a, a CMF series that would be awesome. And I want to do an Ashen Cast special of uh, us just talking about them <laughs> for home co- for far from home, I think. Yeah, that that's it. Be, that's uh... it. honestly for far from home. Dude, I was like when are we going to do a Spider-Man Raimi <laughs> trilogy? And I'm like that's the perfect time to release a CMF draft for that. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're we're literally okay, guys. July, we're planning. Hot that. scoop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. We'll start rewatching them in June after Toy Story Four. Perfect. Okay. Yes. We have like everything plotted them. out for this too. That's pretty good. And yeah. And we have like the little, like Dumbo, whatever. Oh, that's the other thing. So next week, uh, I will be seeing Shazam uh, mm-hmm. on the twenty oh, third. Yeah. But I don't I'm going to be seeing it too. You are. You? So you are going to be. Yeah. I got first off. I got an offer to see it tomorrow from Warner really? Bros. I thought I sent it. I don't know. I thought I sent that to you on Snap, but yeah. No. Uh, but I I couldn't. You know, I was like, I already bought the tickets for the twenty third. So I'm going to see the twenty third though. Where's I'm... my email? <laughs> I know. No, they actually right? had a screening, um, this past week. Uh, I should have contacted them. There you go. Uh, the yeah. all the stars were actually in Toronto. What? Um, oh, I would have gone to that. I mean, if I was in Toronto, at least you know, in the uh, area. I I feel like. I don't know. None of them really excite. I don't know. I don't really care for Zachary Levi that much to go to Toronto and Tangled. spend all these hours. Yeah, but but wouldn't you be on the red carpet? Uh, like you know how is no, that? No, like, no, 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 world no. Premiere? no. It wasn't. I don't even know if it was the world premiere, but because uh, they filmed it here in Toronto, so that's why. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. But that and yeah. Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. You, you were in it. Um, ex- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Except this was filmed in the winter, um, oh. so it was. It's interesting to hear some of the stuff that. What like uh, last winter, say. like December? Yeah, last winter I think. Or the holy crud, they yeah. crapped this one out quick. Yeah. They're, wow, there was like well, they're okay, no, movies no, no, like no. In a, It in must a have year. been twenty seventeen because like think it was the year before. Yeah, because like we had a trailer and everything like last year. Look. But. Shazam. Yeah, I guess what are we going to do? We'll probably do a cast spoiler cast. Record that and then we'll record it early and then yeah. yeah. Um, because that one, yeah. I'm, Shazam I'm began filming in Toronto and Hamilton, Ontario, in January twenty ninth, twenty eighteen. Okay, so yeah, that was that was basically almost two years ago. Wait, what? January twenty eighteen. Oh, so. I mean that was a that year. That was ago. last year. Yeah, that was last year. That's what I meant. I mean, it wrapped like, yeah. mid May. So yeah, it was still cold here. It's cold in May. Oof, I feel mm. bad for you guys. It's already hot. Well, there. not not always, but I think last year. I think it lasted long. Was it short? I don't remember. Um, that's but, crazy. Uh, Hold on, cold when seeing Avengers Endgame. That would be weird. <laughs> or Infinity. Oh, April it snows still sometimes. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. I mean, it stops being cold in January, maybe early February in Florida. So, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's topic? just questions. Oh well, Suicide Squad two, Idris Elba replacing Will Smith. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, why don't you do a quick plug? for uh while i switch laptops just do a quick plug of uh the series coming out for next week 
it's your own series anybody could vote well now it's too late so <laughs> it's whatever people had that we found interesting and we need to work on that i have not chosen all mine so that's the plug for the series i think that was a really good plug if you ask me i'm back <laughs> good stuff good stuff um but yeah that's exciting uh so we'll be deciding that afterwards i think mm -hmm. um uh, okay, so let's move on to the questions to wrap things up here. All right, uh, so we have a question. It's mostly like, um, so I guess we just answer this, but this is from Jack Builder Smasher. Ashen, any CMF drafts in the work for Justin's or yours channel? Uh, so at the time, um, yeah, we're working on the uh, choose your own uh, minifigure one. Um, and uh, what else? Um, nothing on my channel is in the works, but oh, really? Uh, I mean, is that uh, there's ideas, but there's is the one that you were gonna release at the end of April on your channel or my channel? Because I don't even know. That's on mine, but uh, okay, yeah, I have to so work that on that one. night. There probably there's gonna be something Marvel as well. I think um, besides the Endgame one, I just haven't decided what exactly, but it won't mm -hmm. be an MCU sort of thing. Well, um, wait, really? It might be a comic one, or it might be a certain, You'll do that? certain cameo uh, one, which oh, I get a like, lot of questions When are you going to do that? Like, is that going to be, like, after, in May? Like, No, I've got this, man. April, I'm done in two How weeks' school. How the heck are you going to do all this? I'm done in school in two weeks. We've got a big jump on the other series already. We're, we like, have, like, I know, but we have, on my channel, four, and then four, the next Fortnite, that's, like... Hey, I mean, first off, for to those listening, you're going to get, like, the most CMF drafts ever yeah. in the span of, like, two months. Yeah. I mean, we already have, like, our next six or seven planned, and they're all releasing before the end of June. Mm -hmm. And we have a June one plan. Yeah, I know. We have the we have that June one, which we both know. We <laughs> have that May one, which I really want to do, and you know what it is on that random movie. I want to do movie. it, too. That random one-off Yeah, that movie. we wouldn't expect you to like. Right. Okay, okay you see, we're, we're getting specific. Yeah. We have the obvious choice for the end of April one that I want to release a week early. And I think we, we have, have a surprising one on your channel. A surprising Let's one. Let's just say that. Very, very early April. Yeah. yeah. We have the fan <laughs> choice. And, the... and then we have another one that you would expect on your channel that makes sense because it was popular on my channel uh, to coincide with a certain movie we talked about in this episode. Oh, you so got me seven. lost, but then I caught up. Six. But yeah, that's a lot. Listen, six. they don't call me the fastest uh, okay. Lego artist As long as you got this, I'm just saying, you know, we, yeah. As it's long as you fine. got this, because that's a lot. That don't is worry. a lot. Don't worry. I'm done in two weeks. Okay. All right. Like, like tomorrow is the second last class for one of them. How is it? How's your so, school ending so early? That's well, just what happens. Was ending at like I, I know the end of yeah. early May. Early May. Not here. Well, early you May. guys just had your week off, right? Yeah. And I had it when I went for Florida. So. Mm -hmm. Um. But did I answer that question? Yeah, I did. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Absolutely Studio says, Hey Ash, I was going to ask a question. So I want to design my own CMF series. I was wondering what software do you use and do you have any tips when it comes to making minifigures? Um, so I've made a tutorial of, um, of me actually making them. Uh, I use a program called uh, Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Um, but uh, it's all up to you. Like I know that uh, other LEGO artists, uh, they use Illustrator. Um, Mini Brick Productions uses Adobe Illustrator. Um, what else? Uh, and a lot of people have tablets and all the drawing tools and stuff, but I don't have uh, that, and I also wouldn't be able to draw like that. Um, but uh, what else do we have here? Any more questions? Hmm. <laughs> Intense Ash and Flash fight twenty seven thirty to thirty five forty eight. I guess that's when we were getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> that's About, a good one. Uh, yeah. Um, and then I guess this is a question for both of us, but hey Ash, if you made a Lego set with Just Too Good, what will the Lego what would the Lego set be? Well, that's your question, I mean. It's for both of us, but I I would I think that with our combined love for Toy Story, I think that that would be something fun to do. Well it'd be Fortnite. But Fortnite as well. Um, yeah, like that's what I would I would think first and then I think, yeah, yeah. Toy Story stuff would be awesome too. I think uh, those would yeah. be two great sets drafts. 
that ever or happens. even uh whatever that is yeah whenever that'll happen if that that's... will happen that's definitely not yeah. something we were discussing um and then briefly do you uh so i have a few questions i answered this question but it, in the comments but uh, i think it's important to address uh do you know when the end game sets will be coming out so tentatively i believe it's april 1st but they are popping up on shelves already and do you know how much the april, you have to yeah. do you I have to spend it. i think it's end of march but yeah where are you gonna say end that? of march okay so i have to keep checking towards us um do you know how much one will have to spend in order to receive the micro scale avengers tower set uh, I believe it's ninety nine ninety nine because that's what the Hogwarts one was, or the Diagon Alley, right? It wasn't seventy five, was it? Wasn't it seventy five? I think it was seventy. I'm thinking, yeah, it was seventy five, right? Maybe if, if it was seventy five, then that's probably what it'll be. Yeah, because uh, it's in the I'll same buy, sort of yeah. vein. Well, by then it's at the end of April, so the uh, Star Wars set should be out, yeah. and I believe Spider Man Far From Home sets are also coming out that day. Someone <sighs> said something. <laughs> Funny. So no, uh, that's like June first. I'm guessing. I'm just you, guessing. No, I they they normally release stuff early when it Far comes from to that home, kind of stuff. I mean, what Homecoming was June first, I think. And was it? the Avengers. I mean, they released Avenger sets later than last year. This year. Yeah, so later I, than last year. Yeah. Spider Man. Now I gotta check the Homecoming. Out. What is it called? Uh, so while he's looking it up, guys, if you do want to have a question answered on the on the podcast, be sure to write it down below. Um, so yeah, so that we can read Those out next week. I mean, like the great freaking brick sets, like my money. But like, you know, it, like we get three sets, I think, for far three from sets. home. Three uh, sets: Hydra Man, big, Molten like, Man, and uh, the shoot Stark, Stark Plane something. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, you know, I'm and one of them has a those. beautiful Nick Fury figure. Oh yeah. Uh, did you I'm see uh, Nick somebody's one. somebody's video S- today June, by the way. i don't want to say who but somebody's video um they have the scar like there's actually a scar now underneath the eye patch they've added some scar printing onto it i didn't uh, even know thing. somebody released a video of that um, it's, it it's on instagram another brick? no 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 it's on instagram it's somebody's okay. story um but uh, what did you say what day was it uh june 1st for homecoming so i'm i'm, I'm i don't think it'll maybe be any then later than yeah that. like Wa- and man the wasp was june 1st first i think too yeah so i'm just guessing then i you know but i don't know i mean maybe they're like a strict date because it seems like disney's just doing strict dates like mm-hmm. i think the toy story 4 like i think like the end game toy story for all those sets release tied to the time that the toys for other companies release um movies. yeah you're right i haven't seen any end game stuff yet yeah they're, they're very had, specific yeah even though I saw, I keep seeing Toy Story four little pro, like uh, bowling pins. I saw today a, a table, <laughs> like really weird Toy Story four products just in shelves. But like the actual toys themselves release. But I think that's something that it's kind of evergreen. Like Toy Story will always sell, but a specific yeah, no, but I mean, movie no, when it comes to uh, no, like I like saw Avengers, Toy Story four uh, bowling pins. Like it was branded Toy Story four. What surprised me was at the back of it, they showed the... You know that silhouette picture of, like, all the characters? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know the one with Gabby yeah, they, Gabby. Yeah, they stuff. had that at the back. I was like, okay. I mean, you know, they had Gabby Gabby. They had uh, Duke Kaboom. Which, speaking yeah. of which, uh, all the Funkos have started to leak for Avengers, so uh, mm-hmm. as well as Toy Story 4, so that's, that's yeah. exciting. Um, there was a bunch of Captain Marvel spoiler ones that were released like this past like there's like five of them like a like, bunch of different crap. variants yeah. it's crazy um, like geez you couldn't wait a little bit but there's even up? one that's just nick fury holding goose like just like it's just random like just such a weird variant um i don't know <laughs> for a for a solo movie i think it's a little strange but um anyways anything else to say before we wrap things up thinking i think we're good we're good all right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into another Ashen Cast. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, be it was a lot longer than I thought. We talked more about this than Captain Marvel. That's uh, crazy. But well, we, uh, we went on a bunch of tangents. Thanks yeah. to me. So a sure. bunch of Disney and Marvel stuff. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out uh, the next Ashen Cast. I think it'll be out before or on the same day as the Viewer's Choice. So yeah. Uh, hope that you guys have a great day, and we'll see you all in the next one.